let's be honest. We all know with my ankle surgery and being unemployed and all the other stuff trying to get freelance, I haven't had a chance to clean the garage yet. So this is set up out here, building the swing for the cabin that we're hopefully gonna go install this weekend. Let's see how it goes. So far so good. I wanted to check the angle. It looks like I did a pretty good job.
don't like the way this is turning out and I didn't like the directions from the beginning because with a carriage bolt, when you use a carriage bolt and you were to put it here and it pivots, you've got this whole extra inch that technically needs to make sure that it has room to swivel out of the way. So instead of making this the 10 inches tall that they recommended, I made it to eight and a quarter. And I'm trying to see if by having this in here, right, and I'm gonna put the pivot here, um, Actually, I'm gonna put it kind of right where this clamp is. I'm gonna have to clamp it on the other side to put the bolt in. And I don't have the right bolts, I'm just gonna go with these for now. I wanna use carriage bolts uh, in the long run. But I'm gonna see if I can put uh, this, the pivot right here, if that can create enough space for this to come, for this bottom to swivel over this support. And I don't really know why they wanted this support there. And I feel like the, their plans are a little poorly thought out. So I'm kind of trying to improvise on this, so we're going to see how it goes. Not yet. All right, I like this. It pivots well. Unfortunately, my measurements are a tad off, so this ends a tad bit higher. It's just because of the fact that this hole is about an eighth of an inch higher than this one, and you can actually see it when it pivots and comes down. I'm glad that I raised it up and gave room for here for clearance because this doesn't clip, and as this comes down, it doesn't clip. I probably could have made it about three quarters of an inch to an inch longer, but yeah, I definitely couldn't have made it the the way that they wanted me to without using the hinge. If you use the hinge, it'll work fine, but I didn't want to do that because I didn't think it'd stay as strong. So uh, I'm gonna tighten this thing up and see how it goes. What I wanted to do was put the swing kind of right here in this area. And that way, as you're kind of sitting here, get a chance, maybe if somebody's playing some horseshoes, you can watch. If somebody's in the fire pit, you can watch. And it kind of gives this area a little bit of a, a little bit of a close off. All right, so for the arbor, between the internal between the posts is supposed to be 73 and a half and so if you add the six inch posts are what I'm going to have on each end of the arbor uh, so half of that obviously three inches and three inches add that so then you get 80 inches technically 79.2 but I'm just going to go with 80 because it's a hole I'll have a little bit of extra room I need to dig three foot wide holes um, and go three feet deep so it's going to be a pretty big hole that I'm going to have to wind up with. So I may just kind of do like two and a half feet wide and then try to do it like two and a half to three feet deep. Um, I've got 10 foot posts and I need about seven feet sticking up. Um, and then I can kind of trim if necessary for the way the swing needs to sit. So this is what's going to happen now. Got to dig me some holes and I'm going to mark this out and dig me some holes and we're going to see what's going to happen.
sorry to say that I did not video me getting in those in here. It was an engineering feat, I must say, on my part to get these out of the van and drag them across the yard by myself and uh, get them in the holes because my four-year-old can only help so much. A lot of inspiration from him though and thumbs up, so that's good. Thanks, Liam. Had the regular bag of quickrete mixed up, put it in the bottom, and then used the quick set uh, fast setting on the top here so that that way I can actually put up the swing this weekend as we're here and everything else will dry and be good to go uh, as this, you know, two or three days and we'll be solid. But that way I can put everything, uh, start putting everything together later today. So we're gonna set the other post and uh, go to town. A little bit of trial and error, but I think I got something that I like. Um, gonna make three more of them now. There we go. All right, progress so far. Arbor's coming along, got two of the beams across. Got the blocks in there, right there to hang everything. Uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. Very much looking forward to getting the day done today so that we can go check out the new Mountain Fork Brewery. Woohoo! All right, so I'm gonna do what we did that last time. I'm gonna bang it in sideways mm -hmm. all the way until it's good and then we'll turn it and then we'll do that. So then we'll... Well guys, Dylan and I are on the swing. What an amazing uh, couple weeks. Well, something's settling in, isn't it? Maybe Dylan and I are just fatter than we think we are. So obviously it took me a couple days all the week building the swing, then we got here, I built the arbor, all that stuff was going on uh, up here at the Broken Spoke in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. What do you think of the swing? Pretty good. Pretty cool, how's it feel? Okay. Yeah, it's good for the booty? Yes. Do you feel relaxed? Yes. Perfect. So I found, honestly, I found a lot of these plans on Pinterest. Uh, I found the swing with the little cup holdery deal. I really enjoyed the arbor look that I found. Again, found it on Pinterest, and um, luckily I found an exploded view of it. Didn't find any plans, and it gave me just enough references to where I could kind of say, hey, that's a six by six pole. I'm gonna go ahead and use that as a reference and then make all the other measurements and put things up and things of that nature. So yeah, ready to go eat and drink. All right, he's not gonna have a beer. Pizza. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have too many. <laughs> Top front. Oh, no, 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 no,